So, uh, let's talk about Peter Allen. Peter oh. Allen. Yes. Peter Allen. He grew up uh, in a small hick town called Tenerfield, Australia. And as a teenager, he ran off to audition to perform at a nearby resort. From there, he made it onto an Australian television show where he met another singing hopeful. They formed a brother act, became a hit, and while on tour in the Orient, were discovered by Judy Garland. She brought them along to open her act with Liza in London and tour Europe and the U.S. Peter Allen wound up marrying Liza Minnelli, and the two were the hottest couple on the social scene in the late 1960s. I know that doesn't look like hot social scene, but trust me, they went to a lot of discos. <laughs> Uh, Peter immersed himself in the world of songwriting in New York and began a nightclub career, performing his own songs in places like The Bitter End, Reno Sweeney's, The Bathroom of the Lanes, The Continental Baths, and eventually The Bottom Line. Those are all of those awesome, awesome places. Uh, in 1977, the New York Times wrote, Peter Allen is a writer and performer who blends the best of the folk singer-songwriter and the cabaret Broadway genres, and he's a flashy, campy performer who can also suddenly dig deeply and movingly into his own emotions. Despite his ardent fan base, Peter couldn't quite find a larger audience. He loved performing on the cabaret scene, but couldn't get his albums to take off. Carol Bear Sager said about her sometimes collaborator, it's because Peter has never packaged himself. It takes much longer for a pure artist with integrity to make it than it does for somebody who is not immediately accessible. Peter has never compromised his voice an inch. Peter then found success writing I Honestly Love You for Olivia Newton-John and Don't Cry Out Loud for Melissa Manchester, yet he never had a number one hit record. Finally, Peter's record producer, D. Anthony, had the idea to bring the Peter Allen Act to Broadway. It would be a limited run of a show billed as more than a concert. The show was called Up and One, and it opened at the Billboard, which is still alive, yay, uh, in 1979. It was supposed to run for three weeks, but received thrilling rave reviews and wound up extending for another few weeks. The show was directed by Craig Zadin with assistant director Neil Merritt. Nineteen-year-old Mark Shaman was the musical director and arranger. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Uh, Zadin had just come off many years of working for Joe Papp and is referred to in some of the Up and One reviews as that guy who wrote the Sondheim book. This, of course, <laughs> this, of course, was right before he got into the TV and film biz. Craig, Neil, and Mark would later work together on other projects like Hairspray and Smash. They just announced today that, uh, you know, Craig and Neil are producing the third, their third Oscars in a row, so wow. this is like beginnings. According to Peter, the title was for being up, i.e. giving your all, and in one, performing downstage center. The show was an autobiographical evening, not with a plot, but with a thread through the songs. The creators really took Peter's nightclub act and made the Biltmore feel like a gathering of friends coming together to experience something really special. Hopefully like tonight. <laughs> In an earlier review of one of his cabaret acts, uh, Martin Gottfried had written, A hopeful sign in these strange days is that the record buyers who love rock or disco music can just as ardently appreciate the quality songs of Peter Allen, songs with the rich melodies and sophisticated lyrics that we despaired of ever hearing again. Besides being ingratiating and smart, his music is theatrical, and you'd have to wish he'd written the show. Peter Allen once said, I don't mind writing a song that sounds like 1932 or a song that sounds like disco. It depends on what the song is telling you. Up and One featured thoughtful Peter Allen ballads like I'd Rather Leave While I'm In Love, Showbiz Flash like I Go To Rio, and the kind of unique storytelling numbers that no one else could do quite like him, like Everything Old Is New Again. Peter even wrote some new material for his co-star in the show, Nora Nemitz. More on that in a moment. Up and One reviews were spectacular. Gina Williams wrote, I saw this electrifying package of talent last week for the first time and was so knocked out that I went to a second performance. The Village Voice wrote, He modifies notions of what you can do on a Broadway stage by shrinking the audience to a stage-side handful of friends. Here to sing two numbers from Up and One, Mike Rosengarten. Way down south I wanted to be a dog 
Sparky, making music all the day. Didn't want to be a wife, oh, cause they don't know how to play. Australia seems like a long way away from Dixie, way down south. So I sing back. Monday. 